So we at the Arm Tech Con 2011 here at the ST Microelectronics booth. So who are you? I'm Stuart McLaren. I'm part of the uh, microcontroller group at ST Microelectronics. And uh, so here, uh, recently, you announced a new product, right? That's correct. Uh, we announced the STM32 F4 series, which is the highest performance Cortex-M microcontroller. Uh, we have a very broad range of Cortex-M uh, microcontrollers in the STM32 family, over 250 different um, compatible devices, ranging from ultra-low power. And with the announcement of the F4, we now have the highest performance. That's 168 megahertz Cortex-M4 product. Is that the, the family over there? Uh, that is the family, yes. It goes from uh, the ultra-low-power L1 series uh, through some F1 products with 24 to uh, 72 megahertz Cortex-M3s, a very high-performance Cortex-M3 at 120 megahertz, and then the, the latest part, which is a Cortex-M4 at 168 megahertz. Uh, so what is uh, the... the ST, what is it best at doing? What, what do you do? We have, well, we have the broadest range of micro, uh, ST, so we have the broadest range of Cortex M microcontrollers with the 250 uh, parts that I was talking about, all fully compatible. Um, we have the highest performance. We have ultra low power ones, and uh, as a result of that, we're actually the market leader for Cortex M microcontrollers. Uh, we have about 45% market share of the Cortex M microcontrollers that have been shipped up to now. And uh, so the, the ARM Cortex-M series kind of was introduced, like, was it 2006? 2007. 2007? Uh, and we were actually uh, the first of the major se semiconductor companies to introduce a, a Cortex-M product. And, and since then, we've been expanding the family very rapidly. That's why we have the broadest uh, portfolio and the, the largest market share. And that market is growing rapidly? Oh yes, absolutely. ARM has got numbers showing the growth of the Cortex-M market and it's growing very, very rapidly. So, are you producing a development kit uh, to enable development? Yes, well, what we announced today was uh, STM32 F4 discovery kit, uh, which is a low-cost discovery kit uh, for the uh, high-performance part. And we're actually giving these kits away at the show here. Um, so uh, people are getting a voucher in the tech bag and then they can bring the voucher to our booth and we, we give them one of these kits. And what can you do with it? It's an it's a easy way to get started with the SCM32 F4 family. So on the kit we have a USB interface and then the debug interface is built into the kit. It's an ST link and then we have the SCM32 Cortex um, uh, M4 microcontroller here. And so what they can do is they, uh, we have some sample applications available that uh, are running on the board and can be downloaded from sd.com and then people can program and debug the board using the USB interface here. So how much are you going to sell it for? So th this kit is available through distribution at about $15. 15 dollars uh, 15 Yeah, one five. Yeah. And uh, we're actually, as I say, giving kits away uh, here at the show as well. So what kind of end devices are these going to be in mostly? So the, the, the nice thing about a general purpose microcontroller is it fits in a lot of different applications. So you can go from industrial, medical, consumer devices. Um, because of the range of products we have, uh, there are, we'll find uh, people using them in, in many, many different applications. Like in airplanes and rockets and everything? I, just about everything. I don't know about rockets, but uh, just, ab just about everything could, could, could find a place for a microcontroller. Lots of them in cars? Um, yeah, we, the, these products that we're um, showing here are not automotive qualified. Uh, ST has another group that does automotive products, um, but uh, certainly consumer devices, industrial devices, medical devices, uh, um, you're going to find a lot of these kind of products. And if you buy 100,000, how much is one? Well, again, we have such a broad portfolio going from the ultra low power to the high performance, going from um, going from 16K of flash to 1 meg of flash, there's clearly quite a broad range. So going from what for, price to what price? So for this product here, for the F4 product, it starts at around about $5. Um, but in the family, you've got devices from below a dollar um, um, going up from there.